Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True Nerd, and welcome back to Vampire, where last time I think we did a pretty good job tracking down and dealing with the, well, rather than dealing with the actual source of the infestation, we dealt with the symptoms. But today, that source is going down. Doris and her theatre are apparently our target. So, let's head in that direction straight away because I've also found out, because I was a bit confused by this, yeah, Pandora's Box apparently takes place in the same environment as this mission, so you can't do Pandora's Box until this mission's done. So, in which case, I guess we better head there first. Now, as I am literally heading right by Lady Ashborough's house, I am kind of curious whether she has anything to say about her daughter. No, she's not actually acknowledging the fact that I've actually uh, met Charlotte, though... Oh, that's a nice touch. The painting actually progresses as you come back. That painting has now been, yeah, partly coloured when it hadn't been previously, which is rather adorable. Though one interesting thing she did say was, yeah, if I mention the paintings, while she refuses to say which famous painters she may have met so you could divine her age that way, she does claim that she has sat and been the actual subject for some well-known painter. So I'm not sure if her character model is actually supposed to be based on a famous portrait. I don't recognize it, but it's entirely possible. Right, here we go, just down the road from her house, the Finsbury Theatre. No one around here, oh. Someone around here. And I don't like your sword. So as you're level 24, I think I'm just gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm pretty happy we're doing that. Knowledge as you guys sometimes drop, yeah. Those guys drop fairly good stuff even at lower levels. So. Let's see what we've got here, except locked up. Can't get it. I cannot enter. Fine, let's just check the side alleys if there are any first. Not that I can see, so I'm pretty sure now I need to go to that rear entrance that I saw previously. If I just head pretty much, yeah, due north and west from where I am along this street, that should bring me back there. Here we go, the rear entrance I've been keeping my eye on this whole time. And it's got to be this. Perfect. I should be able to get in through that. Well, that's just flipping marvellous then, isn't it? So this is... In we go. Nice. Now, I'm not sure whether I can do the actual main quest and Pandora's at the same time. I may need to return later, we'll see. But here we are. The acting school. So. Who is around here? I see someone down there, but too far away to scan. All right, then. Oh, but suicide note. Who's this from? So Doris got infected, started rotting, and was so angry about her fading beauty as a famous actress, she decided to infect everyone else too. However, some people decided against taking part. They uh, opted out. And can we see? Ah, that'll be Doris herself then, I suppose. Let's, oh. We are literally above the stage. Whoa to you, nations of hypocrites. For in front of you stands the tall queen. You can but lower your head, fit only to smirk at her soiled feet. Right, so she's quite enjoying being in control of all these thralls then. Gotcha. Let's just keep on keeping on. Watch out for anyone who might Can that be Doris Fletcher's voice? Where does it come from? I'm gonna guess she's on the stage, Jonathan. And we've got, aha, we've got our first people here. Right, level 28. I'm not doing so bad here. I'm mostly keeping up. And I've got enough, oh! They explode. You know this. It happens every cocking time. Right. Keep having a quick explore around here and a hat. We can drop down through the floor there if that's what we need to do. May as well keep myself fully healed though. I'll get plenty of blood back from my sword. Nothing to do up here, so drop down to the next floor. Keep an eye out for skulls. Oh, rogue skull 27. Yeah, we're in control here and oh, I like this building. This building's nice and fancy. And yeah, I think she's just performing on the stage right now. Anyone else around here? Oh. What do we have? That's probably just the, yeah, front of house over there. We've also got stages. Hello. What's this there? Oh, the balcony. 
There she is. Smirk at her soiled feet. So she does indeed just enjoy a bit Alas, of a quick perform. Poor Doris. I knew her well. And and she's not actually performing to anyone right now. She's just blindness. being on the stage. And sadly, I can't lock onto her and toss down the blood spear and just stay up here. That's not allowed. Still, we know where our showdown's happening. It's on the stage. Oh, actually, there's a second staircase around the back here. This looks like it would lead to backstage. Any chance this is going to be... Yeah, this would logically lead pretty much out to the stage. Oh, yeah. Who are you? You who dared enter my realm. Are you here to worship or mock me? I'm here to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ah, but Doris Fletcher is no more. She was consumed by this putrid flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you, but I can help you. I'm a doctor, Miss Fletcher. Doris Fletcher is no more. All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was and the queen she'll be. Until then, all shall die. For that was her final wish. All right, level 30. And resistant to, oh, melee and uh, blood magic. Okay, how tough are you in general? Not so bad, to, oh, okay, a little bit on the tough side actually. And oh, you're level, you're level one. That's fascinating and okay. I've got to be a little bit careful here. She hits pretty hard and she comes in with, yeah, the typical three, 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 right. She's a vampire and she doesn't have resistance to firearms. So, let's get Milton's shotgun out here. That'll do the job. And there we go. That does good work. Reload that. And what are you planning to do next? Blood magic. That's a little bit of light tapped, but nothing much. Oh, yeah. That does the job. Stay out of that. And then stay away from the explosions. Oh, You've got a weird floaty arm thing. Right, you know what? Let's just use my ultimate powers on you. I may as well use it while it's actually here. Hopefully she doesn't resist it. Oh, 1,000. Oh, oh, that's so powerful. That's ridiculous. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. I think I'm going to reload my shotgun now. Yeah, there we go. And I think you're actually pretty much close to done, actually. And gay. There we go. And go. She's already almost dead. Oh, the ultimate powers are ludicrous on toes. Keep your distance. And oh, she's got a big Resident Evil arm. Okay, it kind of hurts, actually. Oh, I'm out of blood magic, though. Avoid and reload. One last shot. Actually, screw it. Shotgun time. Nice. Uh, wait. I beg you, wait. What? I, I don't want to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Does your heart beat a little faster now? You fancy me then, Doctor? No, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Is she pretty? Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. Will I be remembered? Will you? You were Doris Fletcher. The greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. And farewell.
Farewell, Doris. Bravo! So dramatic! I love it! McCullum! How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that scal infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat, you and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. I should probably leave the theater right now. Probably a good idea, as the flipping hounds of Kill the Vampires have shown up. Alright, so, first things first, just gotta find an escape point from the theatre. And this over here, I believe, was the door I came in through. This'll do. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. It's okay, Jonathan, chill out, we're literally on our way out. And there's, yeah, Prewin Chaplin, level 29 over there. Is he actually... no. They're the far side of the wall. So Doris just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Sorry, Contagion sir. through skin. No, Very disturbing. Alright, so now I need to support the Ascalon Club because there are apparently problems. Oh, excuse me, warp! Warp! Oh, I literally can't warp because I'm out of all blood. Excuse me, will you stop shooting me please? You're bloody level 28! Need to always remember to keep a tiny bit of blood back just for the actual, uh, you know, healing up and whatever. But it would appear that the war is very much kicking off at this point, so... If I could just find myself some slightly lower level guys on the way to top up my blood meter, that'd be flipping marvellous. But, oh, that ultimate ability, Abyss is ludicrous. That's just insane. And no sign of trouble around here, but I can't help but notice the guy who I saved from his shop who was held captive by a vampire. He's shown up here. Hello. We meet again, Mr. Kimura, in a more peaceful situation. Dr. Reed, still visiting London by night? We must both be nocturnal animals, you and I. After your captivity, I thought you'd be more cautious. Breathing the cold night air helps calm my mind, sir. I've had the most frightening nightmare since I escaped that filthy jail. Alright, so who exactly is this guy? We could mesmerise him if we wanted to. He's actually got quite a bit of XP on him. Alright, let's just quickly dig in. Which stars? That's the whole point. He wanted me to talk to him about some Red Queen configuration or constellation. I've never heard of such an astronomical term. Oh, we might have something that points towards something later in the game there. We've got, yeah, some form of astrological significance going on here. Let's talk about some voices, because I've been hearing a lot about people hearing mysterious voices. What did he say about voices? He constantly whined about the voice of his master, ordering him to do terrible things. He wanted to silence the voice by offering blood. My blood. Well, this is all potentially of interest. Tell me, Tadao. Why was your abductor so interested in your passion for astronomy? I don't know. We met a few times at the Royal Greenwich Observatory. He seemed to share my hobby. Then he invited me to his house and locked me in. Intriguing. This is all, yeah, I'd say probably pointing towards this mysterious Red Queen that's been mentioned a few times. Right, back to the Vampire Club. Let's see what's going on here and whether the Second Great Hunt has made its way inside. And so far, doesn't look like any more corpses than the last time I was here. I don't think so, anyway. Oh, and here's a rare sight. The good lady herself is inside the Ascalon Club. There's unusual. Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. 
And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. Alright, so she's actually allowed in on this occasion. Marvellous! Right, well let's go and have a quick chat to Redgrave. Ooh. Hello! This door's opened up. This was not open previously. I'll just help myself to your money. You guys willing to chat now? Lord Redgrave is outside almost every night coordinating our defences. Such an example. Are you sure about that? Because Ashbury specifically told me he never leaves the club, so I'm not necessarily sure that's true. Why so I'll just be helping myself to your drugs? There we go. Thank you. Now, Redgrave, let's have a chat. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. And yes, indeed, I think we've still got some questions outstanding. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Ekon he deserves to be. Well, that seems perfectly reasonable. I mean, when I spoke to him, he wanted to become a vampire. He joined this club specifically wanting to do so, so... I guess I can't really stand in his way as long as I'm convinced that he's going into this fully understanding the consequences. Yeah, sure, why not? As you wish, my lord. Good. Now go. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Alright, fair enough. Anything of interest we need to ask first? And yes indeed, what actually made you finally decide to make Dawson a vampire, given his advanced age makes it seem like, yeah, you've been keeping on him for a while, but for decades and decades you didn't. Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die, and he just may be the most influential man in England. After me, of course. You know what? That seems fair enough. Uh, does he actually know I'm coming? Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. Fair enough, so I'm guessing I was actually requested then? Did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least, but it is entirely mine. Why am I a bit suspicious there might be an ulterior motive here? Fair enough, I'll do it anyway. Are you alright, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? Honestly, if... Hmm. If he wants to be turned and he actually knows all the consequences, but go on. I'll ask for her advice. I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Okay. Intriguing, but I didn't really answer the question of should I refuse. 
So here we go. What should I do about the Dawson question? What would happen if I made Dawson an Econ like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Okay, and any other advice? What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. Okay. She makes a decent point. I do know for a fact that this process is dangerous and people just don't survive it. I could just make double sure he doesn't survive it. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor soul survive at all. And how exactly can you be certain of that? How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Okay, that didn't actually answer the question of how you actually knew that for sure, but fine. And I'm guessing you're just being vindictive because they've never let you into their little club. Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. Okay, interesting stuff. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. And thankfully, of course, I've already actually been to Temple in the past. So straight through here. Now, where exactly is your mansion? Aha. Over there. Potentially the big building the far side. But... While I'm here, I believe there's the last few characters in the game I haven't really run into yet. So, yes, this was curious. There were two twins sharing the same coat, sharing the same movements. The only difference between them being, yeah, the colour of the lining. And we've got Usher over there. I swear there was... There we go. One more person right here. Hello. Who are you? Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? Well, I actually live here actually so that's absolutely fine and i'm not sure i should say that i mean i'm not really supposed to well, actually the ascalon club does officially exist so i guess that's fine i work for the ascalon club here is my permit to go freely about the city the ascalon club you should have said so sir i must warn you these streets are dangerous and you'd better be careful all right, now let's actually, yeah, let's get your opinion, you seem fairly well informed, about Dawson. Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it, with just one phone call. Intriguing. And Jess, what was your investigation about exactly? What are you investigating exactly? Well, my two missing persons cases have been solved by you, it seems. Are you just that lucky? 
Or do you know something I don't? I was lucky enough to find them both while conducting my investigation in this part of town. Why do I still have the feeling that you're hiding something? What about the abductor? Was it the same person? I don't think so. You had better interview Miss Teasdale and Mr. Kimura on that matter. All I did was to lead them safely home. Ah, I see. So if I hadn't actually found both of those two quests already, then this guy would have actually, yeah, told me about them. That's pretty cool. Gene Medicine, by the way, no, you're healthy, lovely. And something else I've just learned from him. He seems to think something else is going on behind the scenes here. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. And I suppose technically that is true for quite a few vampires, in fact, but he may be referring to someone in particular. We'll need to keep an eye out on that. Ah, good. Digging into that's opened up a new option here. Tell me more about the homicidal maniac. It might be someone I've already taken care of. Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Sometimes violent and brutal. Sometimes precise and swift. How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. If my theory is correct, maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. Okay, no great details there, but I suspect he's talking about the Ascalon Club itself. Well, let's leave him be for now. There might be more yet. But yeah, the weird twins up here. What the hell is going on with you two? Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. Agamemnon Baker, what a marvellous flipping name. And you're perfectly healthy. Yeah, what's your opinion, strange man, on Dawson? What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Intriguing. Right, well, let's see what we can dig up about this weird fellow. So he's mostly speaking in riddles. They claim that they want to leave London, but are waiting for something or someone, but they won't say what. However, with my woobly powers, maybe I can get some sense out of him. Who are you waiting for, exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be, then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. This is all very, very weird. What trap? I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you're not in your place? That sort of trap. Alright, and you think if you leave London it will be sorted out? Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. What the hell is going on with this guy? Right, I'm going over to his brother, Pericles Baker. See if we can get any more sense out of him. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. This is all very peculiar. Alright, what can we learn about him that we didn't get from Agamemnon? Okay, once again he's just speaking in riddles. But one thing we do know is he seems to want to stay. Or rather, he likes London more... Let's just keep using the vampire hints here, figure out what the hell's going on. Pericles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. That would not be difficult. And neither of you can explain why the bloody hell you're just sitting here. 
At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing, and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? This is all very odd. Right, what's your take on your brother? Because you're both weird. What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He's always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being. True kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. What? What is happening? What is this conversation even doing? Okay, maybe he'll tell me who he's waiting for. Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer, and here we are. Right. Still no real clarity. I feel like this is all a bit meta, quite frankly. Well, I think that's all we can learn about either of them for now. Everything else is locked behind hints being required, so... Okay. Is that literally everyone in this district? I think it is. No. We're still missing two. Two people somewhere. Fine. And Dawson is apparently the pillar of the community. But... If we were to have to kill him, there is a fair bit of leftover healthiness. I think we'll be okay for the time being. And oh, hang on. Where are we going? It's locked, all right. No, that's the church. Where's, where's his bloody house? It's around here somewhere. Ah, yes, of course. It'll be this massive mansion I've seen before. Or was someone yelling at me? Is someone about to attack me? Yes, it's you. Sorry, let me just quickly kill you. I can't help but notice, however... That before we go in, the game has specifically flagged as a secondary objective. Come on, back up anytime you're ready. I'm not just supposed to enter the mansion. I'm supposed to ask around. Figure out what's going on with what. So I'm going to do that very quickly. I'm just going to check in with the people locally who I consider the most trustworthy and generally the good eggs. Just to see if they actually agree with Lady Ashbury. Here we go. Louise, who I rescued. She seemed to have a sensible head on her shoulders. So, Aloysius Dawson, Louise. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Never heard of him. Really? He's very well known in London. Throughout the country, even. But he a big shot or something? Never interested in politics myself. Okay, not really that useful then, gotcha. Right, Charlotte. You definitely seem interested in politics. <laughs> Very much so. So you must have heard of him, and I'm guessing you've got a strong opinion. What do you know about Aloysius Dawson? That man is a tyrant. The embodiment of greed and selfishness. All I despise about this country. Alright, pretty strong opinion there, gotcha. Now what about my old best friend Clarence Crossley? What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Well, I've discovered he's quite versed in occult knowledge. So I wrote him a letter asking him to finance my research about vampires. He never responded. Okay, that's quite funny. Now Avery Cork, my butler and general all-round good egg. I value his opinion. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Not much, sir. Mr. Dawson's house used to be a good house with many servants. I heard he fired them all recently. Alright, interesting little tidbit of information, but not that useful. Ah yes, and while I'm at home, I did just pick up a very good quality saber. Level 4 at 140. Fine, so that can be got up to- ooh. That can be got up to 210 by default. So this is 220 with all the upgrades. When I say with all the upgrades, I mean with- uh, yeah, that's with a single upgrade of plus 10%. The rest is the, the blood business. This is already up to 210 without any upgrades. And it has blood absorption on it too. Okay, this is of interest. This could actually be more powerful. So stamina consumption, no, I'll go for increased damage there. Fine. This thing I think is going to be, yeah, that is definitely going to be more powerful. As in addition, it's still got the blood on it. This could most certainly be a more powerful weapon. Right, well, let's just get this on here, and more blood absorption too. Go on, aluminium's flipping everywhere. Yeah, that's going to be 
absorbs, yeah, 10 points up. So that's going to be at 231 with the points of absorption. And this is already at, yeah, just 220 with the absorption. So exactly the same loadout, just better. So all I need to do is I need to find three more good handle parts. And I've actually got myself a superior weapon there. Fine, it's not better yet, but it will be very, very soon indeed. Marvellous. And I've also just slightly upgraded the um, the basic pistol that I use, because, yeah, if I run out of shotgun shells, I may as well. In which case, back to Temple and back to Dawson. And given I literally cannot find one person with a good word to say, the nicest anyone's willing to be is just slightly neutral, I'd say we're going to listen to the Ashbris. If the opportunity presents itself, we let him die. Now, that might actually be worse for the district, because he's the one that wants to build the massive quarantine walls up. So if I basically stop him doing that, it'll be bad, because, yeah, even though we've cured the infection here, it'll just come in from elsewhere. However, I do agree with the vague theory mused upon by the Ashbrays, which is anybody who seeks immortality most certainly shouldn't be allowed to get their hands on it. Let's see what we can do here. Open up the gates. He's got himself... Ooh, he's got a very nice house. Very nice house indeed. A little outside gazebo here. Just keep some books ready for reading. Anything else we need to know about around here? Just want to make sure I'm absolutely well informed. Ooh, a bit of a sideway around here, but nothing actually hidden around there. Fine. Dawson, me and you have an appointment, it would seem. And here we go. Inside the house. Now, who... Is here. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? Well, on the plus side, he does have an excellent taste in cakes. It's the same low poly cakes we saw elsewhere. <laughs> they look even weird next to the actual teapot and the candelabra because they look so much nicer. Yeah, those are weird. I don't like those cakes. Right. Where's our man? Ooh. He's got a very fancy house. I've got to say, I like the house. The massive skylight and the circular design. I mean, it's a massive waste of space, but it looks gorgeous. Ah, and there's our man. Back there. Fine. So we'll get to him last. I just want to have a little looksy round first, because sometimes uh, you find letters. And those letters might recontextualise this just a little bit. Plus, he'll probably have something to say to me that might make me rethink who flipping knows. John Sparrow has been hanged at Pentonville for killing his sister Alexandra Sparrow. Claimed to be innocent. Alright, our old friend Clayton Darby. Reduced in rank for falsely accusing a man of murder. I wonder what Inspector Albright thinks about his punishment. Ah, so that's actually something for the police detective outside. Fine. Glad we found that. Something's going on here. We'll speak to him later. Keep looking around, see if we can find a few more letters yet. Now, I may not be the greatest art critic in the world, but I will say there is something odd about having the same painting hung twice in the same room. That is weird. Well, I can't find any more letters from him dotted around. Mr. Dawson. Finally, you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight, I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Okay. I'm the only vampire here. We can take a few minutes. Trust me. 
All of those seem like slightly odd responses, but let's just take a few minutes to chat. So I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold. So cold. All right. Let's see what we've got here. So, how are you going to be, you know, dealing with the whole blood situation? You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. Right, he'll just send thugs out in tonight to grab people off the streets. Great! And how are you going to deal with the vampire hunters? What do you know about the Guard of Prewood? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Yeah, we definitely don't want to give that guy immortality and super strength and super speed and all the rest of it. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. All right. So, you're rude and dismissive and an asshole. Let's move on. Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. You see, while that would potentially condemn the sick boroughs to death, quarantine does sort of actually work. But yeah, walls contain the epidemic. Let's actually dig into that a bit more. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. You really are wanting me to kill you, aren't you? Oh, here's a great answer. If you ask him who gave him the right... Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. Yeah, I think I know what we're doing. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. It's got to actually... Oh dear. Apparently there's some important bit of information I do not know. Right. I must have missed something. Maybe someone in the West End could have given me some form of information I could have used. So I've missed something. So I can either turn him into a vampire and sacrifice 2,000 XP, or I can just kill him. Now, admittedly, that is not going to look like an accident. I feel like the Ascalon are going to figure it out, but I agree with the Ashbris. He is not getting turned. Sorry. Bye! You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. All right, so this is one person I've used the blue option on, one person I've tried to spare, and one person I've killed. And I'm betting it goes wrong in all three cases. I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? All right. And I'm going to guess that is Mesmerized level five. Job done. All right, and we've also lost a hint for him. And yeah, various hints for him, in fact. So potentially we could have spoken to him more back at the club. He also has a giant pile of keys. All right, well, I saw a safe over here. That'll do as a starting point. So second key goes down. All right, 
Where did keys one and three go? Ah, one more safe hidden back here. That's just got a treatment for anemia and a tiny bit of money. Ah, he's just hoarding medicine. Fine, that's his medicine safe. And there must be... Ah, medicines I don't think I've even seen so far. Beautiful. Sepsis. I think I haven't actually made one of those so far. So just in case that does show up, sure. And here's the third safe upstairs. That is... Oh, 500 shillings. Very, very nice indeed. I'll be helping myself to his wealth. Now... This is maybe going to be a hard one to explain. Because he does literally have holes in his neck now. So... <laughs> yeah, I'm mildly concerned the Ascalon Club's going to figure it... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> this isn't good. And I definitely can't deal with you. Lord Redgrave... Bad news. Just before I arrived, a different, unrelated vampire was here. You would not believe it. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? He did not deserve it. He did not survive. No, lie. Lie, 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 lie. He didn't survive the procedure. He was too weak. This is unacceptable, nevertheless. You were given the simplest task. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight. And your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor. And take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone. Oh dear. So, some things may have gone slightly wrong there. I'm guessing we can't talk anymore. Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. And apparently, he's not talking about Ashbury, he's talking about old Bridget. Apparently old Bridget's floating around somewhere. Intriguing. And there indeed she is. Hello Bridget, what brings you topside? I kind of got the feeling you didn't really hang out up here much. We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. Oh dear, what's going on? Actually, before we get to that, yeah, you know Lady Ashbury. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. All right, and what was she actually after? What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. I feel like me and Lady Ashbury and old Bridget together could come up with a much better, more inclusive form of vampire society, yes. Right, let's get on with this. Warn me of what exactly? Lady Ashbury. You know her. Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted. But at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Oh dear. It sounds like they're going for Swansea as a collaborator. Ah, here's something fun. Ask her about why exactly Lord Redgrave seems so annoyed to see her. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes. 
that my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the sewer skulls and of so many other forgotten children. All right. So, yeah, last time he tried to create a vampire, he created old Bridget. Fascinating. Well, no time to lose, aside from all the questions we just did lose time with. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, go on, tell her I love her. Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon. For the flames are rising. Alright, apparently things are going a little bit on the nuts side out there. And now we've got to get to Pembroke and help out with problems. Because the bloody vampire hunter are about to bloody attack. On the way though, a couple of things I do actually wish to take care of. Number one, the letter I just found in that house indicated uh, someone may have been falsely hanged for murder and that it might actually involve you, my good man. Come along, tell me what's going on in the police force. Yes, were you reduced in rank as a result of a potential error related to whatever the guy's name was who was just hanged? Is it true you were dropped in rank? Tell me about it. Yes, it is. I made a terrible mistake. I deserved it. Sometimes I think I should have resigned. So why are you still working here? Because I'm a damn fine copper. I just don't want to have someone innocent hung again by mistake because of me. Okay. So, potentially, you executed someone and you can't take it back because, you know, bit of a permanent thing, to be honest. So... Yeah, we actually got rid of the death penalty in Britain not desperately long after this, so probably not an efficient way to go about things. The death penalty is not an efficient deterrent. I sometimes think it pushes criminals to more violence, since they know they have nothing to lose. I agree. I'm convinced all civilized nations should abolish the death penalty. Maybe after the war, once that bloodshed is over, the survivors will change that. Indeed. That's your personal opinion, I'm guessing. Why do you think there shouldn't be a death penalty? I believe no one should decide to take a man's life. Not a nation or a government. Are you a pacifist, Inspector? No, sir. But I believe in divine justice. Only God has the right to decide who will live and who must die. Alright, I think that's everything. Yep, that's everything we can learn about you. Honestly, you seem like a decent sort. I won't eat you, I suppose. Oh, hello! I've run into Lord Finney while I was passing by! Literally one of the Lords of England has just shown up! Right, so he's resistant to... Oh, well, let's just use my ultimate regardless. Oh, I think we're both trying to ultimate each other! But I actually got the hit off, and you didn't. And you're not very resistant to swords, my good man! That's a concern, because I'm actually very good with sword. Avoid! Avoid the flipping abyss, the abyss hurts. Right, do a bit of healing. You're not resistant to blood. That's a shame, I've got a powerful blood spear. And go and get up to you and finish you off. Right, the actual lords of Ascalon itself are coming after me. That is a concern. Or maybe I just ran into him while he was clearing out some vampire hunters. Still... There's not a huge number of them, to be honest. There's only, um, yeah, four and Redgrave himself. So, I'm not getting back in. This isn't just me being locked out of this faction. This is straight up, oh dear, they are now attacking me on the streets. Still, that wasn't why I actually came here, and I wasn't just cutting through either. Now that I'm up to... Don't walk into a post. Now that I happen to be up to Mesmerize 5, I've got an old friend to catch up with. Like, say, a mad gibbering priest who happens to be sneaking into old buildings and setting people on fire if he thought they were sinful. Yeah, you're going down, I'm afraid. First, I just need to heal you up, though. Well, at some point, I've lost a hint with him, probably because I was yay pro science and he isn't so much about that. But he is actually up to 4,800 XP. That's quite a lot. So how about you... Come with me, my good man. Yeah, that's right. Let's just go off to a quiet corner. Because <laughs> you literally confess to breaking into an old broken down brothel 
and setting fire with petrol to the prostitutes you found inside. So you're going down. This seems like a nice quiet spot. And a quick nibble for you, you sick bastard. There you go. Lovely. And what have you got to say after you die? Please forgive me, my lord, for my eyes were blind to the devil in front of me. My task will remain unachieved. And there we go. He literally had a lighter on him. The lighter he used to set fire to people. Probably best his task wasn't achieved, actually, yes. Oh, I think we've got another one, haven't we? Who's that I'm attacking right now? I'm attacking a vampire. He's a similar sort of level. You're not named as far as I can tell, and you're resistant to blood. All right, and just quick steak to the heart. Oh, yeah, my new steak is beautiful. I love my steak so much. So he's partially resistant to swords, but honestly, it still does very, very good damage. And he gets my blood up, which is fine. And then back off and freeze. Get my stamina back. Back off a little bit. And charge it. Because they even have a second they need to recharge after you actually, um, yeah, the, uh, the paralysis wears off, which is just beautiful. The paralysis thing is so good. And oh, what did you just do to me? I don't know, but okay, just, just freeze in a second. No, nope, just walk straight through you. And hold still. And I think we will finish you off now. I think that was just a standard Akon. Fine. So if we're lucky, maybe we'll run into the rest of them later. <laughs> Clear out the entire flipping club. Ooh. Hello. That is actually just uh, a rogue Volcott. Largely flipping darn. No need to tangle with you, I don't think. And the fight is definitely happening on the streets right now, but good opportunity for me to just get some damage in some of you. Now, who's fighting who right now? Actually, they're both doing a good job against each other. Boom. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Lardy flipping da. Right. No, 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 no. I'm trapped in a corner. This is never good. Never good. Oh, bloody hell. It is very annoying when you get stuck in a corner. Right, you guys. I think you can just go down at some point. And blood spear for you and just avoid all of you. Now teleport over to you. Should be able to finish you off before she gets back over to me. There we go. Blood magic. Oh, I just got that off in time. You are indeed an Ikori person. Oh, hitting you is dangerous. Right, you just hold still for a second while I just heal up and then get a few more attacks in and then walk forward and avoid the explosion. I actually avoided the explosion for once. But I think what I need to do, in fact, as we are now very close by, is I need to spend all this XP and see what I've just done and what it actually does to the West End. Because I suspect it ain't going to be 100% good, actually. So, let's lie down, have a little bit of a nap and spend, oh, 12,000 XP. Loving that. Right, so... Obviously, I'm willing to spend... Okay, that's 6,000. That'll be half of it to get Blood Spear up. But that's a massive increase. Now, the ultimate ability is... That's still locked until 32. And that is... Yeah, another 700. And that's already ridiculous. So, definitely want to get that up. But until I'm a high enough level, can't take that. Honestly, what I'm relying on right now more than anything is... An extra 100 points of healing and less recovery would be good. Yeah, for only 2,700. Only 2,700. Dear, oh flipping dear. That's 500. And that costs 3,000 to do. That'd be pretty powerful. Yes. I could have just a tiny bit more on the old... How much is that? That's only 1,500. I could have a pair of them for just 3,000. Yeah, go on. Max out Blood Spear. Because Blood Spear is really powerful. Because then I've got a really powerful Blood Ability. Okay. And with Ultimate, I've got a really powerful Shadow Ability. With my Shotgun, I've got a really powerful Ranged Ability. And my Sword's pretty damn badass as well. So actually, I think that actually works pretty nicely. So I'm going to take 50 points of health right there. There we go. Lovely. So that's up to maxed out on the Silvers. And I'm going to do the same thing on the Endurance. 1,500 right there. And I'm level 30, and most of the way towards 31. And that should be about all I can do. Anything else I desperately want? I could have taken a bit more of this, I suppose, but... Yeah, 
3,400 isn't even that much. Next time I get a big dump of XP, maybe get that up to max. But 400 is probably good enough for the time being. Well, confirm that. Let's see what I've just done to the bloody city. I suspect it might not be good news. Yeah, the following night, tell me what's happened to the West End. So, terrible news for London. Well, the newspapers would report it that way. That doesn't mean it's actually bad. Yeah, the paper is just basically praising him, but then, fine, he had powerful friends. We can't really trust that. Let's see what that actually does. Okay. The situation here is serious, but it's not even into critical. A lot of people, however, have developed fatigue or cold. We can go and sort that out. That's not a big problem, including my mother. Don't forget to deal with her. In fact, actually, with the exception of the Crossleys, I think I can actually cure all of this. Nice. Now, as for this area... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Whitechapel. Okay, Whitechapel is holding on. Apparently, the removal of the priest who liked wandering around and setting fire to people was bad for the health of the district, which I'm not sure I 100% believe, but okay, what have you. And a few people are going to be needing treatment as well. And there's a lot of sickness just actually showing up here in Pembroke too. In fact, they've just dropped down into Sirius. Luckily, it's mostly fatigue. Most things start with fatigue. So I can just brew up a whole bunch of fatigue potions and just basically swing around giving everyone them. So, okay, it did work out badly for the district, but I agree with Lady Ashbury. That was the right thing to do. And it seems like, yeah... I'm going to be needing a very, very big pile of cold and fatigue medication for all of this. Luckily, I've been pretty good at actually gathering, so I can make a lot of all of that. So, let's leave things off here, as I think I hear fighting happening in the distance. Probably just some skulls killing some of the pre wound bastards. I will go and deal with the survivors in just a second. Uh, next time, uh, we will head back to the hospital, figure out what's going on there. I feel like me and McCullum are probably due for a final showdown. I suspect that's going to happen in the hospital. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Vampire. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, did people just vote out democracy? Hang on, what have you just done? Oh, go on, let's have the greatest Oktoberfest ever. Yay! Spain and Russia have announced a new alliance as a result of the warmongering of certain Central European countries. Oh, well, excuse me! My leader from now on, no weeklings will stand in the way of this country's path to glory. Oh, God, Germany, not again!